everybody it's your girl Stexiana and I am back with the first cooking video on my channel since I took excuse me since I took my little break and I came back now I'm back on YouTube and, boop, 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 boop. and as you can see I am cooking what y'all see the table right there yeah some furniture came I told y'all in the apartment tour that some furniture was coming bow that's what we got that's the table look at it that chair in the corner right there came broke so we gotta wait for them to bring another one but in two ways let's move forward because i'm gonna just start rambling tonight is going to be a mediterranean style dinner so we got these falafel mix mediterranean style so never had falafel never attempted to make them boom and um I got this pasta dish from a magazine that had the recipe in it and it was a Mediterranean style magazine so this is a Mediterranean style um, pasta dish so um, let's get cooking okay you guys so the first thing we're gonna have to do is thinly slice these shallots now y'all let me tell you something Getting this camera angle together for y'all with some work, okay? Um, so yeah, y'all honestly, well, that was a little big two ten. Okay, y'all. Honestly, I've um, I don't think I've ever had Mediterranean food. Um, if I'm remembering correctly, maybe I didn't had it and I didn't know that was classified as Mediterranean food. But to my knowledge, I've never had Mediterranean food. So I'm kind of excited to see how this stuff comes out. The pasta dish, I'm excited for because it's something new. It's something I've never done. Like, I never did no shallots in my pasta salad. And it's using, I'm using grape tomatoes in my pasta. Now, I keep saying pasta salad. It's a pasta dish. And I keep saying in, um, I don't know why I keep saying pasta salad. I think I'm slicing these pretty thin, y'all. And if y'all don't know what a shallot is, a shallot is, y'all, it's just a small onion, in my opinion. Smell like an onion. Sometimes make it cry like an onion. I think that's enough, y'all. So what I'm going to do is put these. I'm going to like, y'all, shallots is basically an onion, in my opinion. Maybe I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, somebody let me know in the comments. Um, Maybe I'm wrong. But in my opinion, they just... An onion to me, like they ain't nothing special about no shallot, nothing at all, baby. Just a regular old, uh, little it's, it's a little baby, a little baby, um, what's it called a little baby onion. Y'all, I'm gonna start doing this now. Y'all, what I tell y'all when I first started this channel, you gotta get it how you get it, okay? This might not be the proper way, but honey, it's thinly sliced. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's so terrible. Okay. So let me get a just to toss bow. So I'm using what I just did. Balsamic vinegar. All I did, it, it said a little um, teaspoon. That's what I got in there. Let me do this like that. So just tossing that up. I'm trying to like break apart these little shallots right here. So bow, just like that. Okay, so then put that to the side. Um, let's cut up these great tomatoes. You know what, y'all? I gotta rinse them off. So let's move on to the garlic. Now let me tell y'all something. If y'all do not use garlic and onion in your cooking, please grow up, please. Because, honey, you it's really like, it really will elevate your taste buds, okay? It'll really add that extra little pizzazz that your food was looking for. I don't know if y'all ever seen Ratatouille. But when his brother tried one of the pieces of food and then he tried the other one. And then he tried them together. <laughs> Honey, I felt that. Because that's how food is, y'all. Like, food, food, eating food, it's not about eating food. It's about really tasting the flavors, y'all. <laughs> I'm I'm playing y'all. I'm just really cutting up. 
So I'm gonna come back when I got these garlic thinly sliced and these grape tomatoes thinly sliced. What's good, y'all? Okay, so I'm back. Um, I probably don't got enough garlic in here, but you know, garlic is strong. I don't know how well y'all can see that, but I used the whole, the recipe called for two pounds of cherry tomatoes, but I just got, there go the garlic. I just got one container and I just put all of that in there. So I'm gonna pour. This is extra virgin oil that I'm pouring in here. Oh, y'all can y'all can barely see. Now why didn't y'all say nothing? Okay, there we go. Y'all, so I almost forgot. So I got a, a request from somebody that is just so oh dear to my heart. And I wonder if y'all might be wondering, say something. Who is she talking about? I'm talking about my little brother. Shout out to little Steve. He asked if I could shout him out in my next video. And of course, I am happy to shout out my brother. Y'all, if you don't know me personally, I love my little brother to death. Like, he is just, oh my goodness, y'all. I miss him so much. Um, so we just season it, salt, pepper. Um, we're going to, the recipe, y'all, please don't get on me about this. Now, the recipe called for some sugar. Now, I normally typically wouldn't do the sugar in there. But, you know, I'm following the recipe, y'all, okay? I'm following the recipe. So, this is what it's called for. That's what I'm put in there. Don't say nothing about it, okay? The recipe also called for some red pepper flakes. Now, these joints, they spicy. The good thing I like spicy. I'm going to add probably a little bit more. But, y'all, anyways. So, if you don't know me personally, Little Steve is my little brother. Um, and we call him Little Steve because... He is named after my father, so he is a junior. And I remember um, before he was born, we used to talk about like, oh, what are we gonna call him? Are we gonna call him Junior? Are we gonna call him SJ for SJ Steve Jr.? Are we but like what? We just we really just didn't know what we was gonna call him. And honestly, I don't even remember who thought of the name Little Steve. I just add a little bit more real perfect. Um, because as Tabitha the Brown say, that's my business. <laughs> yeah, I love her. Okay, I'm, I'm getting sidetracked. Anyways, um, I'm adding this. So, this seasoning right here, my daddy really hooked me up with this one right here. Because I love it. I put it on everything. He said, it say everything mixed. He said, put it on everything. And honey, ever since he said this to me, I need to talk to him about, Daddy, if you're watching, I need another one. So, because I'm running out. I don't know if y'all can say it. But anyways, so yeah, so before he was born, we used to talk about um, like, oh, we got, what we going to call him? And I don't know exactly who came up with the name. Uh, somebody just came up with it. And honestly, it just stuck. Like, ever since then, we just been calling him Little Steven. Um, that, that, Little Steve, I'm telling you now, Little Steve is going to follow you. I don't care if you get six feet tall, you will forever and always be little steve to your big sister <laughs> but anyways i just you know i had to shout my brother out because that's my brother and i love him and i miss him so y'all right now um i am greasing my pan because the recipe said now this, this is why i said i ain't never done this but i forgot to pull it over here so the recipe said to do this mix it in this bowl and to pour it on this sheet pan and um see this is why i added a little bit extra y'all see all these red pepper flakes that's sticking to the bottom it's not the bottom it's the top of but y'all see all these red pepper flakes red pepper flakes that tried to you know be left out uh-uh uh-uh honey so the recipe said to spread the um cherry tomato mixture on the sheet pan and cook it for 35 to 40 minutes and that's what we about to do. You might be wondering, Stacey, I'm going to get a shallot. Um, baby, hold on. They coming. They're right here. I got them. Ooh. Y'all, my bad. Look at me. Trying to uh, talk, not paying attention to what I'm doing. So, I'm still trying to, you know what? It's okay, y'all. We're just going to dump them on there, okay? Just like that. Just like that. Just like that. So, my oven is already preheated. Um... To 350 degrees we're gonna put these in the uh 
the oven. Oh, and I also said, do not mix them, do not rotate them, do not flip them. Just put them in the oven for 35, 40 minutes. I'm gonna put it on, I'm gonna set it for 35 minutes, but we gonna see if it needs to go a little bit longer. All right. Okay, y'all. So, I'm gonna get started. Whew. Jesus. Y'all, sometimes the oven be doing that. Oh, it'll be the pan moving. Okay. That be scaring me. Every time it does that, that scares me. Um, oh, here we go. So, I don't really mean, I don't know if they mean to say like one third cup, one third a cup of water plus two, I mean, that's what it's saying, plus two tablespoons of water. Um, I'm doing both bags of falafel mix because I don't know how much one bag is going to make. So, I'm going to do two bags. And um, y'all might be wondering, Sissiana, why don't, instead of doing two one third cups mix, why is you not doing whatever them combined equal? It's because I don't know my fractions, okay? Please don't get on me about that, y'all. I really don't. It's a shame. And I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this eight times because I don't have a tablespoon mix, or at least I don't know where it's at, because it's the half a tablespoon. Yeah. So this is two. I'm not adding nothing to it, y'all. Like, I'm just doing a mix of water. I'm following the instructions. I'm not gonna go free flow on this because that's two. That was two. Three. Hold on, y'all. Four. Five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, I'm going to mix this up, and I'm going to see y'all in 10 minutes. Okay, guys, welcome back. So, we got our little mix. So, it said to do it in one-inch balls. So, I'm going to just use this little the measuring spoon as a good shaper and i'm gonna drop them in my grease hopefully my grease is hot y'all i forgot to turn on during the 10 minutes so hopefully the tomatoes are cooking up nicely tomato scallops and it's all that this stuff. oh yeah i like the way that sounds so it says to cook them for two minutes so I'm gonna drop these and I'll be back with you guys when they're done. Hey you guys, so I'm gonna build a plate, but this is the pasta. This is how it turns out. I already tried it, it's good. This these is the falafels. I already bit some of this one. It's good, y'all. Like I'm gonna try it on camera. There's so, so many flavors. I'm back from camera. It's so many flavors. I love it. It's delicious. So, it says to put on a pita, serve with lettuce, tomatoes. We don't eat lettuce in this house. So, I'm just going to put a tomato and some of these falafels. And I'm going to put some spinach on there because that's what we eat over here. Um, If y'all eat Mediterranean food, if you ever had these, let me know if I made mine too big. Because I kind of feel like I should. It's probably not what you're supposed to do, but I'm gonna do it just because it's a little, it's a little thick for me. The sandwich a little, well, I don't know if it's called a sandwich, but it's a little thick for me. So I'm slicing them in half. Hey, everybody. Okay, y'all. I'm so embarrassed. Please not get on me in the comments about this, y'all. And I do it all the time. So I for two things i realized i didn't show y'all the finished product and i didn't film the outro to the video and i was about to upload it and i was like ceciana it just cut off what are you doing so y'all know me i always be on the go i had to stop i'm not driving y'all i promise you see my car ain't moving i just stop and film this outro for y'all and tell y'all i really did enjoy the meal the falafel was good the falafels was good the pasta was good i would definitely make this meal again and that's pretty much it so like always make sure you like comment share subscribe and share with your mommy your daddy sister brother auntie your uncle your cousin and i'll see you guys in the next video bye